dip it into the rice like that. Crunchy. Salty. Salty. It's a tough process. It's sticky. It is hot. <laughs> it's burning my eyes now. I can't see. Oi, 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 oi. Going through the province is such a good feeling because everybody is in the chili peas. You can see it on the faces of the locals here that they're so stress free. They're like such a simple life and they smile and they wave at you as you drive by. Special feeling guys, special feeling. Cow smell. It smells like cow here. <laughs> Very unusual for the Philippines. To what? To what? To what then? I guess we're on the right track. Short hike through the village over here. Super duper local life over here. Yes, this is probably gonna be the last day I'm wearing my white shirt. The boys left this morning. It's been a full on crazy driving day, about seven, eight hours, where well, there's just no chance, no way I would have skipped coming here, know that I could have stayed a little bit longer. gets better and better. All right, we packed everything down and we drove about 20 minutes out of the town of Pandan to Delikia's farm. And I'm super excited to see what they have in store, what kind of vegetables and fruits. I am starving. Let's get a healthy lunch. Uh, no one told me there's gonna be a river to cross. Might be a small problem. Let's see how deep it is. Now I used to do this all the time home back in Iceland. When we're crossing the glacier rivers, we usually walked in, check the depths before we head over. And this seems to be just fine. All right, let's do it. And here's a tip, if you ever cross the rivers, always cross it where the break of the water goes down. See, there's a kind of flat area here, and then it curves down into some uh, rapids. 
and this is the best place to uh, cross it. It's probably not a smart move to uh, block it, so let's do it. I mean, what's the worst thing can happen? You get wet. That's it. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we did it. I hope this is the right way. I did not know you have to cross a river what? on a motorbike. <laughs> it's okay, it's very shallow. Dagus Tabi. Dagus Tabi basically means welcome, come in. Molido. Molido. Mm. Yummy? It's like a mix of coconut camote. Yes, mm. very good. And some uh, herbs. What herb is this? Any herbs? Anise. Anise. Yes. It's like a mint flavor as well. It's really good. Yeah. Guys, this is Ate Jane and she's going to show me the process of making Molito. Molito, which is the one that I had before. Molito is, is the coconut mixed with brown sugar, I assume. But uh, here is a soft version of it before you uh, dry it up. Yes. Yeah. No. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yes, I'm, You're so, I'm tall. so tall. I, I bumped yeah, into everything. <laughs> Pian Pen is cooking now, Molido. Okay, oh, she's Molito. trying to stir it up. Oh, you have to show me example. Sample. Oh, sample. 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 No. sample. It's better to learn first before oh. you try. Just put the. Like really have to scoop under it. Yes, because it will become. Yeah, burnt. Yeah. It burn under then. And for how many minutes do you uh, cook this? For almost one hour. One hour under. Yes. Keep on steering. Let's cook molido. Yes, molido from Delicious Farm. Wow, nice try. Only nice try? Yes. Only a try? Yes. Like, oh my god. I you need more practice to stir it up. <laughs> oh. Okay. It's not yes. easy as it looks, guys. It's <laughs> It's a tough process. It's sticky, but it's hot. <laughs> it's it's burning my eyes now. I can see. Oh my god! <laughs> the main trick is not to get it burnt. Yes. Yes. So. Bolito process, guys. That is hot, guys. That is hot process. Whew. And after it's been cooked for an hour, it has to cool down and get a little bit uh, softer, stickier before we put it onto the table to dry for also an, about an hour or so. The next thing is to get it off the paper. As you can see, it's sticky. It's still sticky. All right, I want to check back at the kitchen, see how they're doing with the molido. We already put there. Oh wow, look what they've done guys. So you finished for one hour cooking. Then and now it's flattened out here. Black dough. Black pepper. And for one of the final steps, the cutting part into a small pieces. Alright, and for the final step, you gotta cut it. Pieces. It's a little bit sticky, we gotta be careful. What do you want to Yeah, here? you can fit anywhere. Yeah, okay. And now, guys, I'm a certified Molito chef. <laughs> They're delicious. If you come to Delicia, farm definitely have one of those because that's the delicacy here in this area oh and they got also a swimming pool if you want to dip down all right guys lunch is served we got nilaka baboy rice and lumpia but we got also a special one today <laughs> i only know the Ginamos. pisaya word yeah ginamos but here we call it kuyuk kuyuk Yes. But it has a little bit of Ginger. ginger flavor to it, so I'm gonna give it a try as well. In Bizaya we say kinamot, but here it's magaka. Magaka mai. Magaka mai. Uh -uh. So you do it here. Magaka mai in Tagalog. Kinamot in Bizaya. Dip it in the sauce. 
Mm. <laughs> camote? Yes, camote. Very nice, you know, huh? Mm. I honestly don't remember when the last time I had guinamos, but uh, we're gonna give it a try. Take a small scoop of that. Oh, it's a big one. Just one a small. Mm. Here we go. Dip it into the rice. Like that. Crunchy. <laughs> Salty. Salty. Salty is the taste I remember from the last time. But this one is flavorful. Wow. Guinea mos. Masarapa. 